Hi friends, this is Mainak Misra and welcome back to my channel. I repeat the same prayer that the pandemic is not over yet. So I believe you and your family members are doing absolutely great and taking care of yourselves. Today I will be discussing with you about an Iranian film, a hero directed by none other than Asghar Faradi. Like his previous films, Asghar Faradi is a hero, deals with ordinary people and their lives. A dead convict returns 17 gold coins, which his girlfriend picked up on the street to the rightful owner. He objects to the exploitation of his son for his own benefit to draw public sympathy. But as a normal human, he makes mistake. But he does not deviate himself from his morality. The film raises the most important question. Is he not a hero? Is it a fair expectation from a human that he will never make any mistake? Can all the good deeds be erased for a simple mistake? This film motivates the viewers to raise questions but does not answer those. It just motivates to contemplate. The narrative of the film is complex with multiple layers, but everybody has justification or reason for their behavior. Nobody can be bluntly termed as guilty. Faradi never creates a character who deserves hatred. A hero deals with ordinary people, their lives including morality, mistrust, love, peace, separation. helplessness and vulnerability. It shows how common people lose their ground unfortunately and unexpectedly in the whirlpool of life. Now let's discuss about the film. Rahim gets out of prison on a parole for two days to visit his family. He took a loan worth 1,50,000 toman from his ex-wife's brother-in-law, Baram. But he was not able to repay him that amount because his printing and calligraphy business failed. Bahram sued him and he was arrested and put behind the bars. His girlfriend Farkhande picked up a purse containing 17 gold coins on the street. Initially, they decided to sell those off and use that money to free Rahim. They will pay that money back to Bahram. But later on, Rahim's conscience does not allow him to sell that. Instead, 
he decides to return the purse to the rightful owner. He visits his elder sister Mali's family and has a good time with the family members. His son Shiavash stays there as well. He has a severe stammering problem and he believes that his father is not guilty of anything. As per, the, as per the advice of some bank employees, Rahim pays some posters on pillar and posts in search of the rightful owner of the parts. Finally, a woman turns off and Mali hands over the parts to her. To her. Prison authorities come to know about this good deed of Rahim. They call on media people who broadcast Rahim's interview. And Rahim overnight becomes a media sensation. A local charity organization raises 34,000 tomans for his release and that money will be will be repaid to Bara. They reward Rahim with a merit certificate and a job reference. Rahim visits the employer and gives that reference. But the HR manager wants to verify his good deed and ask for the owner, parts owner's phone number. Now Rahim is in trouble. He did not collect the detailed information about the parts owner and he did not hand over that back himself. Mali gave that. In desperation to back the job offer, he presents Farkonda, his girlfriend, as the purse owner. Now, the HR manager needs Baram's approval to consider his candidature. So, though reluctantly, but Rahim visits Baram's shop, but unfortunately engages himself in a scuffle with him, which is captured on a video by Baram's daughter, Nazneen. Now, Rahim is a very big trouble. Nobody believes him and everybody suspects him. Prison supervisor Tahiri makes a tactic and shoots a video with Rahim's son Siavash, proclaiming that his father is not guilty of anything. Rahim strongly objects to the emotional exploitation of his son's stammering problem, speech impediment to draw public sympathy for his own benefit. In the end, he returns to the prison and Mali and Siavash, his son, see him off. So this is the story. Farhadi's films 
depict life and life is always multi layered multi dimensional and complex with multiple turns so obviously for all these films are complex multi dimensional multi layered and a hero this film is not an exception in this film nobody can be bluntly termed as guilty everybody has reason for their behavior and they are right from their standpoint they have logic rahim should have collected all the detailed information about the parts owner he should have handed over the bag himself but do we register all the details all the time don't we do don't we commit mistakes at the crucial moments Bahram sued him and he was arrested but Rahim also did not repay his loan 150000 tomans he broke Bahram's trust the hr manager of the employer wants to verify the the parts owner but it is quite obvious that before a job there will be multiple verifications what is the proof that he really handed over that parts prison supervisor wanted to shoot that video but they wanted a good reputation for rahim so everybody has justification or proper reasons behind their behaviors for all these films always motivate the viewers to contemplate but does not do not directly answer any questions so this film is such a multi layered and very very dynamic film regarding the screenplay by asghar faradi as i mentioned multi dimensional dynamic multi layered and very tightly woven faradi's direction the biggest achievement is the film such a complex film flows so naturally and spontaneously that it does not look like staged it look, looks like it is happening in our real life and we are witnessing it faradi has supreme command on his actors and they are never off the track he is deeply influenced by his theater background so all the actors went through a rigorous rehearsal process for over 10 months amir jadidi who portrayed rahim efficiently captures all the emotions and he portrays the tumultuous life of rahim very efficiently and carefully with always a gentle smile on the screen the cinematography by ali ghazi documentary style and handheld cinematography and fast paced editing by hayde safiari
have made this film extremely dynamic and much like a thriller. A hero was nominated to compete for the coveted Palme d'Or at the 2021 Cannes Film Festival where it won the Grand Prix Grand Prix. It has been nominated as Iran's official submission at the 94th Academy Awards for Best International Feature Film and it received it has already received widespread critical acclaim across the world and I am sure that you will try to watch this even if you have not seen already. Same request goes again, please support my channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon so that you do not miss regular updates and if you have any comment, please put your comments down below so that I can answer, I can clarify if you have any question. Thank you for watching this video. I request again that please take care of yourself and your family members, especially aged members during this pandemic time and please be safe. Thank you for watching this video and bye.